Hey guys, so I recently went to Singapore for two days one night trip and stayed at my cousin's place and we had a lot of fun. So this video is fully narration uh, cause like I was too much scared to actually vlog in front of my cousins cause like that's kinda cringe bro. Later they judge me how? Well who knows, maybe you'll like it better like that. Let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, so this trip of mine started off like any other. Making plans for breakfast the night before but not actually going to breakfast because well, Derek woke up late lah. So my day started off real close and I listened to music and wait, what the f what the bus stopping? Wait, I arrive? Okay, that's cool, 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 cool. So I go into the immigration center and do passport things. Uh. And then after that, I realize the f up. Cause I booked my ticket online for Trusta, but then there's only Causeway link there. So I'm stuck here and 20 minutes later, suddenly my bus shows up and tells me that no one came, so he just f up for the next ride. So now riddle me this. Uh. How the f was I supposed to know? I was supposed to just walk to your bus if there's no f***ing directions, right? And oh, look, there's these two people I met from earlier who were as confused as I was and they were reciting the bus plate number so I was like, okay, I'm gonna just do that in case too So like, I got past the custom easy lah cause, well, I got nothing to hide Right? No! Because my man was asking me how many shots I've taken for vaccine and I was like, two But actually I did three and also I did a covid test in the morning but forgot to bring it So f shots on me bro! So anyway lah, I wanted to go to the toilet and sh So when like, I walked out then I saw the bus I was like, okay Then for a moment right I saw my man close the f***ing doors bro And I ran like, I was like bro I could f***ing bring me to Singapore And he was like yo I closed the door to not let the air con out bro Then I was like my man really gave me a high attack to save some f***ing electricity for f***ing sake <sighs> At this point I just so tired I wanted to sleep but I didn't dare Cause like I, I scared I f***ing wake up and end up in Johor again Like why can't I be like this guy? Happy Why is it taking so long? Wait Oh sh Finally, Rochester's drive, let's go! Okay, so the bus driver literally just drove me at the side of the road and you know, I'm in Singapore now, so like, is it legal to jaywalk? Anyway, so I get in the mall and being the big brain that I am, I try to find Wi-Fi, which obviously I did immediately because I'm Howard and I'm f***ing genius. So I contacted my cousin on Discord and she was like, yeah, I'm gonna be late. So I was like, okay, 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 okay. It's a nice time. Okay, it's time to start my Lost in Singapore series. Wait, where am I getting my f***ing Wi-Fi from? No, no way. No f***ing way. Itachu Sushi, this Wi-Fi is strong, my G. So, like, obviously, uh, I began my holiday like any other. Lah. Looking at alcohol prices and sending them to f***ing brothers because these prices are pretty low to be in Ringgit. And, well, I walked right into that one. So like, yeah lah, I just continue walking and what the f***? No way. No way these are the prices for a meal. Oh my god, just imagine I don't need to f***ing convert. Like, think about it guys. Like, if I didn't have to convert, like, right. Wait, what the f***? Why am I on, like, the other side of the escalator? Wait, Singapore? Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, anyway, so if I, I don't have to convert, right, then holy s***. This, what the f***? Oh my god, it's Ibudu Chip, it's Ibudu Chip, it's... Okay, never mind. I'm sorry, I looked at the menu. So, like, I walk around for like 20 minutes lah, and like, I'm all the way up, and then I check my phone to see a message from my cousin. And like, you know, she's done... Wait, where the f... No way! Oh my god, I'm getting the same Wi-Fi from the same f restaurant from here. No way! No way! So right, we ate kway chap for lunch which is like basically Thai food, which was bussin' bro. Like, look at that pork! And Kyoku noodles, okay? So basically, we went to Gardens by the Bay, which I said probably had some deja vu, but as a matter of fact, I really don't. So they got the tickets for me, la, and they had their own annual passes, and they told me to take some videos and pictures for my mom. So, like, yeah, that's why I'm taking videos and pictures for my mom, and you know, at the same time, YouTube. So, you probably know me. So, you know, we have, like, holy sh. Is that a sloth? What the f? Is that a leopard? Dang it, wait. What the f? Is that a Python? Programming mode! Damn. Yeah, so like, there's this whole section of dedicated to characters. Holy sh! Damn, dude, that's a dragon! Damn! Oh, 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 oh. So right here, right, there's like some super strong ass smells like tangerine, lime, and whatever b smell you can think of. Like, like, wait, 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 wait. What if I touch this, like, this and. Mm. Oh, yeah. Give, give, mm. Give me some of that variegated rose scented germanium. Mm. So these gardens by the bay place things like the damn good lah, right? And then they have these different themes every month or something. And this time the theme is precious penny. 
pony, whatever bull right? And it's all these colorful things. And I, I mean, like, it's okay, like, I guess, like, it f my finger. Like, it's pretty f***ing pretty, bro. God damn, who am I kidding? Look at them colors, bro. It's like looking at all these paintings in real life, like, god damn. Oh, it, look at this. This is the bonsai. Or should I say, penting? Because f you English people, Chinese sounds way more cooler. And behind that, you can see where my cousin had her prom. Where there were no tables and people were eating without tables in f suits and dresses. So, yeah. What, lol? So, yeah, that was the flower dome. And we move on to the cloud forest. Ooh, and look at that majestic waterfall making everyone within 10 meters wet as f And oh sh**. The Prime Minister of Australia was here like a few weeks ago to unveil this... Uh... Uh, I don't know, piece of art, like, I, I really wouldn't know, man, like, how would I, like, I don't know, like, f*** yo. Anyway, look at this, holy sh**, is that a capybara? Oh my god, wait, wait, what the f*** am I carrying the camera away? No, no, no! Damn, if only I had a girlfriend who cling to me like this log clinging to the branch. Ah, <sighs> oh, so pretty. Wait, what the f***? Why am I walking? For f sake. <sighs> Why do chess even exist anymore? Like at this point, <sighs> okay, okay, thank God, we finally talk. Damn, look at this! Holy, shit, is that a spider? I'm all the way up. Yeah. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way, and now I'm going down to this weird but true section, and this part really interesting. <laughs> Ah, uh, who am I kidding? Nah, nah, no, not really this bullshit. Like, like, nah, nah, this weird but true is bull. Alright, like, do you really expect me to believe a human is born with 300 bones but dies with only 206? Like, where the f the other 94 went? Huh? Expect me to believe that there are mushrooms taller than f***ing giraffes? They smell more in the morning than in the evening? Humans can smell 10,000 different smells? B the only time I stimulate my nostrils when I walk past trash, bro. Like, when I walk next to Derek, it's all I need. And about orchids, like... Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, fam, fam. Oh, hi there. I'm a rabbit now. Because apparently, they can see without looking behind all the f up. Who sent is that? Damn. We went to... After that, we went to this place where they explains humans were like made of layers or some sh like... I, I told myself to remember what it was, lah, but like, you know, clearly I didn't because I don't remember. So, yeah, oh, and then there's this cool hologram display thing, and here's the part where like they show the world's gonna end, but you know, really, no one really cares until like their houses are burned down or like, you know, they're affected directly, but you know, who gives a f right? And yeah, this is right outside, and damn, that's a scary looking. Holy sh, that's new! So now right, we're gonna go to Suntec City and damn, look at that view! We pass by the active garden where there are all these super cool variations of workouts you can do to like, you know, be active lah. So like, so f innovative like that it literally screams Singapore all over the place. If you have a place like this in Malaysia right, it'd probably be like, you know, black everywhere cause like no one uses that sh or maybe like some parts are gone cause, you know, somebody stole it or something. Like, I don't know but guys, 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 look at this like, damn! There's actual serenade coming out of this motherfucker, bro! Music. And holy sh**! Imagine being able to actually trade energy for phone battery. Like, damn, what the f I thought this was just like a genius year 7 science idea, but like, I didn't f know it was already been invented. So like, we walk on a bridge uh, leading to StarTech and there's this big building thing and the place where NS, you know, all the people do their marching and Damn, look at me! Handsome as f**k! Alright, you better hide your girl, cause I am Mr. Steal Your Girl, my f Oh, We are finally reaching and damn, look at my 450 boba. Sheesh! Ooh, fancy smanshi! Things and we are finally entering Suntec. Dun dun dun! Yeah, we made our way to Latendo first. You know, I look at all these Jujutsu Kaisen merch I found, damn cool! Yeah, do I have to admit the movie kind of trash, guys? Like, come on, let, let's be honest here. And holy shit, what the f Are these condoms? 
Hey yo, look at these prices. If I don't have to convert, right, then you see my story at Big Appetite Food Court every f***ing day. And why is there even a giant inside a shopping mall? Is that even legal? I thought like giant was like a thing on its own. And yeah, so this is my dinner, which is finished cause f*** you guys. Yeah. Hashtag when you done kebab chi for the win cause that was busted. So yeah. After that, uh, we went back home and for the rest of the night, we were just like playing Nintendo Switch and chilling. I'll see you guys tomorrow, yeah? So we woke up around 9 uh, and then we went to Food Hub where there's some serious f***ing bussin prawn me here and some blow me baby. So after that, we went to take the train and here comes the full Singaporean experience, right? So apparently at each stop, it has its own unique food things and there's a line called the circle line which wasn't a circle but it's now drawn as a circle on like the LD lines and So like we changed trains like three times and like different trains look different depending on their age, like, right? So on the last train we got on, the downtown train, it looked the newest and oh my god, there's a seat! But we're not gonna f*** it because my cousin doesn't want to f*** sick. Damn! Look at the mannerisms here. People are actually keeping left for those who want to walk faster on the right. And what the f***? They actually have a travel later in their MRT buildings. Like in Malaysia, you just have to keep walking. And somehow we ended up in Marina Bay Sands and hey, Casino Mo! Hit me up in October guys, we go together when my birthday pass and... What the f***? Is that a f river in a mall? Damn, these Singaporeans think they're damn f***ing fancy all ah. Damn. This mall is f***ing huge bro So anyway, my cousins know that I watched AOT Which is Attack on Titan And then she was like, hey there's an AOT convention inside the lift So I was like, ons like crayons So basically right, during the convention I took like a bunch of videos like right And like, oh, what's up? Anyway, I obviously had to do something with these videos and I came to a conclusion that fuck you all. Alright, we paid 20 dollars for the convention and you think that I'm just gonna let you all have the experience for free? Ha! <laughs> f**k! Half of you all aren't even subscribed to me. So I'm gonna just like let you all have some glimpses, you know? But if you want a full experience, feel free to touch and go me a cheap price of 10 dollars and maybe, and just maybe, I'll let you all in some of that Attack on Titan, alright? So, kill the music guys! So when we first enter, right, there's like all these like minor explanations on all the history of like the titans and like stuff lah, right? So when we first enter, like you have to choose your first path lah, right? Whether you want to start from inside the walls or outside the walls and here's a whole slide show about it. Then obviously, I'm an Aaron Yeager fan, so like I start from the inside, bro. And it's like kind of super sick because like, you know, they like put in some original artwork from there. Probably not as original as you think it is, but you know, still kind of original, you know what I'm saying? Holy f***! Is that scene? Is that scene? Is that scene? Is that scene? Oh, then over here you have like them explaining the powers of all the nine titans. So there's this part where it's like a still images thing of all the most epic fight scenes uh, and like I found it super sick. Like just like look at the animation and like all the panning of the camera, like damn! After this, there's a full part of like explanation of each character, like from their origins and why they do what they do sometimes and the thoughts of the drawer himself. And this is like the last part before the exhibition ends. Uh, this is basically where he explains how he likes to hurt his readers, which is kind of cool lah. And there's also like a full recap of all the seasons up until final season part 2. So basically, we had some time to kill before 3pm which was like we planned to eat a Korean buffet thing lah and the reason we're eating so early is because I have my bus right at like 8 and like you know, I need to get from one point to the other so like we eat early so that we don't miss my bus lah right So we went to Funan which is a recently renovated mall which looks super futuristic and lah like they even have like bicycle lanes and here and like it's damn nice to be inside cause like you know like I feel like damn like this place is crazy like they got people rock climbing and up in this hole bro like damn 
So yeah, after this uh, we got a drink and then uh, we walked over to the art gallery which is like legit looking like the UK one. Like I did not expect it to look like that. Like what the f it's like is that rapid me? So after this we went for an early dinner and then like I eventually took the MRT and then my cousins like picked me up and fetched me to the pickup point and yeah my trip was nearing the end. So obviously your boy is feeling a bit sad because he hasn't seen his cousins for like two years and a two-day trip was just way too fast. I actually really miss them lah, and I love the fact that nothing really changed between us and well hopefully I get to spend more time with them soon. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time.